you have to be good at what you do. Right. Yeah. And understand your community. Yeah, for sure. It's really important. Of which my listeners aren't really Columbia necessarily, hmm. but mm-hmm. you guys are weird as shit when it comes to fitness in Columbia. I'm just saying, if you're listening to this, you're weird. Mm-hmm. It's weird. I don't yeah. understand it. People don't want to pay to work yeah, out. I don't understand they it. They don't want to but, work out. Um, hey, you know, to each his own. <sighs> Right. We do wish we all have always wish we had more gyms because that would actually help us. But I know I've always always said that. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody said that to me one time when when I this was uh, five or six yeah about four or five years ago. Um, somebody taught me about growth mindset. I know I sound super Instagrammy when I say the term growth mindset, but um, flowers. <laughs> speaking about it, uh, he he said something like. Um, you know, man, I wish we had more gyms on this street. And I was like, why would we want more gyms on our street? You know? And he was like, well, you know, if we had two or three gyms on the street, if people come here, Mm -hmm. they're choosing between the gym. They're not choosing if they need to join a gym. Correct. I'm like, holy shit. That's what it means. Mm -hmm. Like, and it, yeah, that's when it clicked. Like Mm -hmm. what that growth mindset actually means in terms of how you look at things. Yeah. Um, I, and this podcast is all over the place, but Hey, no, it's about, I guess communication. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's really what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're picking on micromanagers, but I think that's what it comes down to. I think micromanagers need to learn how to be better leaders. Yeah. That's my sure. root assessment of this having been a micromanager, a recovering micromanager, and then having been an employee under several. Um, and then my, to compare that to my current, environment work situation I'm like oh this is what it feels like to be respected yeah <laughs> so yeah. it's completely different well along those lines all that led me to a um this is a blog post that uh echelon front made it's just a little piece of it um and they had several it's like going over how to work on what we we're just talking about um but this one particular part while you could make a case for the boss doesn't trust you <laughs> mm-hmm. that's still putting the blame on the boss. Okay. If there's a <laughs> lack of trust, it stems from the correct answer, which is the most likely scenario. You have not pushed enough information and updates to your boss. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I think if like, I've been in scenarios where I'm, I feel like I'm explaining way more detail than I should mm-hmm. because I know everyone in the room. They're just mm-hmm. like, what? In the... But I also, f- I've also felt like you're not even listening. No. Or you don't understand what I'm saying. So you don't see the value in what I'm trying to communicate. I don't know where I'm going with that. Other than like, how do you, one, how do you stomach this? <laughs> mm-hmm. But two, how, how do you actually do it? I don't, I don't agree with this. I don't agree with the fact that, Hey, if there's this micromanager and they won't quit, it's because you're not communicating properly or enough to them to assuage their anxieties or whatever it is that's causing them. I don't buy it. But but how do you fix it? Because my way doesn't fix it either to get angry and to get in their face and go, stop micromanaging me. Get out of my office. Like that doesn't solve it either. Yeah. I will admit that, <laughs> mm-hmm. which is why I seek this out in the first place. Yeah. But I also think that pushing up enough information is also not sustainable because now you're doing more work than you're being charged yeah. to do. Going back to when you're, I, you're doing what, your job and you're managing their emotions. That's right. I will say when I started documenting everything with this previous person, I would spend more time documenting the actual thing than actually doing it. And it's like, and what are we doing me, here? I'm like, why do I have to do this for you? And it yeah. was, she didn't ask me to do it, but she was yeah. micromanaging me. I'm like, Forget it. I'm going to write every stupid thing out that I've ever, that I've done. <laughs> and I went back there and gave like little like right. time stamps, right. attached right. emails, case numbers, like Oof. legit, like yeah. a whole history. I'm like, here you go. If you don't trust me now and believe you did what I did, I can't, yeah. I can't. What are we doing you. here? I can't help you. So I think some of those people just lost cause. Like they don't, they don't, or they're just not there yet. Yeah. But to me, you're right. There's a certain point of like, there's nothing else I could do as an employee. Yeah. Like I've, pr- I've shown you, I've done everything I possibly can. That still wasn't enough. Yeah. 
So I, fire me. I don't know. <laughs> <What> <laughs> no, do you, it's like, like we're at a crossroads. We're at a crossroads here. Like yeah. I was at a point. I'm like, yeah. just fire me. Like yeah. if I'm not doing what I need to do. Yeah. Then let me go. Oh man. So that what you did? You were just like I got a different job. You left. 